back to my channel and also welcome to the beautiful Greece. Yes, I am here on holiday right now and I have been for a week already and unfortunately it is the last day today which I'm super sad about but we've had such an amazing time. We've done some really cool things such as quad biking and jet skiing and tanning of course and chilling by the pool which is just what I needed. I hope you've enjoyed some of my other videos if you've seen them and if you haven't you can go to my channel now and check them out if you would like. I did another video here here in Greece uh, which was a lookbook which is something I've never done before and it was so fun to film. It was a little bit different to all the makeup videos I've been doing but it was just just show you guys what I've packed for my holiday and some of my favourite outfits that I've been wearing here in the evenings. But yeah, for sure it won't be my last lookbook I'll be doing. It was so fun and I'll definitely be doing more. But anyway, in today's video I'm going to be doing a holiday makeup look which is a little bit different from the other makeup looks I've been doing just because, you know, on holiday you don't want to wear that much makeup, it's going to be much lighter and there's other factors that you have to consider. You're in the heat all day, you need to make sure that it's going to survive. You also need to make sure that you're lovely and glowy without looking sweaty because that is not cute. Um, but I'll show you how to do that. Anyway, yeah, okay, so I'm going to go and start now. Okay, so first I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus, which is the Prep and Prime Spray. This one's just going to refresh the skin from being in the sun all day and hydrate it with a light mist. And you may have seen this primer in one of my other videos because it's my favourite one. It's the Tom Ford Complexion Enhancing Primer in Peach Glow. And as the name says, it's got a lovely glowy finish. But it's also going to help keep your makeup on. Like I said, you know, in the heat, the preparation for the makeup is very important just because you need to make it last. You need to make sure it's not going to slide off when you get too hot. Okay, and next I'm going to use the Estee Edit Flash Illuminator in Morning Light. Again, you may have seen this in one of my other videos just because it's one of my favourite products for being lovely and glowy. It also is just a really good base for the makeup. And everyone always asks me how I get glowy skin and that one is the secret. It's just gorgeous, even on its own, especially on holiday, it's really nice. My foundation, I'm actually going to use a tinted moisturiser rather than my normal full coverage foundation just because you need to let your skin breathe on holiday and you know you've got your tan you don't want to cover it up you just want something to help you even you all out and give you a little bit of coverage this one is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser in light 3 you know that you're going to tan on holiday so you need to make sure that you've got a shade darker than what you normally are so the blue pop little bit on the back of my hand. This one, as some of you all know that from my other videos I use a beauty blender to put my makeup on but NARS actually recommend that you put the foundation with the fingers. They say that it just gives a more natural finish. I also got a tiny bit sunburn on my face today so this tinted moisturiser is going to do me wonders. It's going to keep me hydrated throughout the day but it's also going to take that little bit of redness off. Whoops. Okay, and now I'm going to use a bronzer. Normally, on my normal routine, I use a powder and then a bronzer, but on holiday, I use a bronzer all over the skin and then extra bronzer as a contour, but it's the same colour, same bronzer. Okay, so this one is an amazing bronzer. So it's from the Victoria Beckham range, which is with Estee Lauder. She did an exclusive range with them, but they're also bringing it back in September. But this one here is called Java Sun and it's number one. So the packaging is gorgeous and it just blends so beautifully and it's just the perfect shade of bronzer. And I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush just to pop this all over the skin instead of a powder. Okay, and for the contour, like I just said, you're going to use the exact same bronzer. You're just going to use it as a more intense application. So I'm just going to pop up underneath the cheekbone like normal. 
And now I'm going to go back to my flash illuminator by the Estee Edit. And I'm just going to pop it on the cheekbones and down the nose. Okay, and now I'm going to use a powder highlighter. So this one is again from the Victoria Beckham and Essay Lauder range called Modern Mercury. To show you, it is absolutely amazing. I'm not, it, I can't even describe how good this highlighter is. So I'm just going to take my fan brush from MAC. my hair up because it is very annoying. For the eye, I'm just going to use my brand new palette which is this one here. Some of you may have seen it on my Instagram, I was so happy I got it, I've been waiting for it for so long. It's called the Holy Grail Palette by Violet Voss and I'll just show you the colours, they're just perfect. Just going to take Excuse me, I'm going to have to use the mirror in here because I haven't got one. I'm lost without my dressing table at home. Okay, so I'm going to take this colour here called Awesome Sauce. God, they make you say some stupid names in these palettes. I'm sure they do that on purpose. Awesome Sauce all over the lid, which is a lovely bronzy, goldy colour. It's got a slight shimmer to it too. I'm going to follow that one slightly under the eye, just to blend it. Okay, now I'm going to use hashtag, which is the top right one, it's a bricky orangey colour. I'm just going to use a touch of that right in the top of the crease. Don't want too much because I, just want, I still want it quite subtle and that one's quite a strong pigment. On a holiday I just love these warm shades. Just goes so well with the tan. For my final colour here I'm going to use this one here which is called Are You Kidding Me? I can't even deal with these names but that's what it's called, Are You Kidding Me? And I'm going to follow that one again under the eye. And for a liner I'm going to use the Estee Edit which is a shadow stick in number nine spice. So you may have seen this one again in my everyday makeup look. Really love it just on the bottom waterline. Really easy to blend as well. Okay, I'm gonna go with some mascara now which I use the SA Lorda Sumptuous Extreme. I'm just going to quickly do my eyebrows. I'm going to brush them through. Use my Brow Wiz by Benefit, but I only use the powder side, which is the right side. I'm just going to fill the brow in with the powder. Okay, and now I'm going to use my Dip Brow by Anastasia Beverly Hills in Blonde. And I'm going to use a MAC Clear Brow Gel just to set them. And for the lip, I'm going to use this MAC Paint and Polish Lip Pencil in Revd Up. They call it a pencil but it's more just like one of those lip gloss sticks. Okay guys, so that is my final look for my holiday makeup. So I'm ready to go to dinner now for the very last time. But thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I've put a list of the products in the description below, so if you wanted to know anything or what it was called, it'll all be in there. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel. But yes, yeah, so I'll see you back here, well, not here, uh, unfortunately, in Greece, but I'll be in old England 
next Sunday at 5pm.